As a nurse, you want to be familiar with heart blocks. So today we're going to talk about first degree AV heart blocks. So whenever you go to analyze this rhythm, you may think at first that you have some type of sinus rhythm. But whenever you take a closer peek, you will see that it has a subtle little secret. It actually has something up with its PR intervals. The PR intervals will be prolonged, hence they will be lengthened. And with this rhythm, the PR interval will be greater than 0.20 seconds. And this will occur regularly throughout the rhythm. And the reason that this is occurring is because electrical signal is able to go down through the atria to the ventricles, so you get the P wave and the QRS complex, but it is doing this slowly through that AV node, which creates that longer PR interval. So what are some characteristics and criteria this rhythm must have in order to be a first degree heart block? Well, whenever you look at this rhythm, it's going to look very similar to normal sinus rhythm. The P waves are going to be normal. The rhythm of the P waves, which looks at our atrial rate, will be regular. It can have a rate between 60 to 100 beats per minute. And then sometimes these rhythms can be a little bit slower. So you may see sinus bradycardia with a first degree AV block. In addition, the QRS complex is going to be normal. It's going to measure less than 0.12 seconds. And the QRS complex represented our ventricular rate. So our ventricular rate can be anywhere between 60 to 100 beats per minute or slightly slower. And it's going to be regular. In addition, you're gonna have a normal QT interval. But when you go to measure the PR interval, it is going to be prolonged. It is going to be greater than 0.20 seconds. And as you can see with this rhythm here, we have a prolonged PR interval. That is the only difference between this and a sinus rhythm is this interval. Now to help you remember this heart block from all the other heart blocks you have to know, remember we are dealing with first degree heart block. First means one, so we're dealing with really one big problem with this rhythm. We have a prolonged PR interval that is occurring regularly throughout the rhythm. Now, what causes first degree AV heart blocks? Well, this can actually be normal in some patients and we'll continue to monitor it. It can also be caused by a myocardial infarction or certain medications such as calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, and digoxin. Now, what is the treatment for a first degree heart block? Well, typically patients don't have signs and symptoms with this type of rhythm. And usually the only reason we know that a patient's in a first degree heart block is because they had a routine EKG where we could actually see it, or we put them on a heart monitor and we could see the rhythm and see that prolonged PR interval. So we'll just continue to monitor them, make sure they don't advance to another type of heart block or another type of abnormal rhythm. And if the patient has an extensive heart history, they may need to be further evaluated by a cardiologist. Plus, let's say they're on some type of medication that can do this that I listed earlier. Well, those medications may need to be adjusted and this heart rhythm may resolve itself. Okay, so that wraps up this review on first degree heart blocks. And if you'd like to watch other videos on heart blocks, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.